Okay, so what do you two think the play is about? Okay, um, it's quite complicated. I think it's a lot about um, theology and religion. Um, it's obviously about 16th century Shakespearean yeah. uh, times, um, but the basic premise is all these mad characters meet in heaven, and they have, um, <laughs> what would what I would describe as a cosmic war. That's what I would say. It's massive, mm. fast, like. Yeah, there's elements of religion and astrology and philosophy, but it's all a big, yeah, a big and yeah. joke. But then sometimes it does take you by surprise because then it can be really serious. It's yeah. very silly, but at the same time, when you actually listen to the words that are being said, it's quite horrific. It's quite be and it's quite beautiful in places as well. I think there is the through line story of Bruno, and I think that's a really amazing story. But, but yeah. there are a lot of elements of truth in it, though, as well. Like, mm. the historical fact is is very... Absolutely. Well, it's factual. It's, it, 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 it talks it, about a real time, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. It, it, it? Although it's a, a farcical place and it kind of transcends time and and place, it, it there's elements of truth in, like, Bruno's character, there's the truth in what he wrote about and, you know, like, his mm. background and then Shakespeare's background and Dr D. And so there's so much um, brought together, mm. but it, it's not just made up, you know. No, and yeah. a lot of people think that that's what a farce is, but it's built on truth. It creates a real... Um, a real interesting storyline because everyone wants something out of each other and not just coming on and just... Delivery, I yeah, suppose. and, and then it yeah. has that whack, wacky ending. Right? If you like Star <laughs> Trek or anything that that's vaguely eighties or cool, you'll like this play. Basically, oh, we said it's like Rip Man and Bob. Yeah, Rip Man. The comedy yeah. is sort of of the eighties in a way because you yeah. can see the, that the snooze probably been watching or reading stuff that the jokes that aren't as relevant now, no. and that comes across and it's actually really cool. Mm. Like, yeah, it's, yeah it's we don't use some of those words no. now. Like, yeah, silly words. I'm trying mm. to think of some examples, like boobies is definitely yeah. one. Yeah, oh, you're like, pretty boobies. Who says boobies anymore? Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of funny, funny words like that. And there's a lot of sex in the play as well. It's, it's yeah. very sexual. So play. everyone can really relate there to it. There is something. <laughs> it's surreal. It's funny. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous! It's it's really really good fun, really fun sexy romps. Exactly what you want from a play just before Christmas. <laughs> um, it's like the Die Hard of it. <laughs>